That's your tap. Tap. Dave Braswell has lived in the Jacob Reese houses for all of his 68 years and says he is still not willing to trust the quality of his tap water. I'm very skeptical. I still be, I, I still been using the uh, drinking water, uh, the, the, the bottled water. Over the last several months, the city received multiple complaints of brown tap water and then faced heavy criticism for a delayed investigation. That was followed by positive test results for the presence of arsenic, only for the city to declare those test results as false positives and blame the contractor for using a non-New York certified lab to examine the water samples. The city now blames a faulty pump for the discolored water. This testing is going to begin. City council members held hearings on the matter Friday. The city housing authority's interim CEO testified under oath and did not make any excuses. I don't want to leave the council with the impression that I think NYCHA did everything right. We did not. We have already identified four key matters we need to improve here at NYCHA. Those four key matters include better vendor management, better resident communication, improving mechanical systems assessment, and better cloudy water protocols. It's not fair to nobody. Gina Eichardt says she's going to need more than new test results and sworn testimony in order to trust what's coming from her faucet. We don't know if we can consume it, so I give my kids bottled water. I just need you just to get it together. NYCHA SAYS IN ADDITION TO CONTINUE TESTING AND HOLDING MORE MEETINGS WITH RESIDENTS HERE AT THE REESE HOUSES, THEY'RE GOING TO BE MAKING REIMBURSEMENTS OF UP TO $200 PER HOUSEHOLD TO FAMILIES THAT WERE FORCED TO BUY THEIR OWN FOOD AND WATER DURING THIS CRISIS.